sheriff murdered, innocent women and children blown to bits. We've got to protect our phony baloney job, gentlemen. We must do something about this immediately, immediately, immediately. Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. Uh, gentlemen, please rest your sphincters. Well put. Thank you very much, sir. Hello, welcome to Jabbing with Rita. With this channel, we study the 12 laws of mind that govern our lives. And so the question was asked to give an explanation of the current affairs, uh, Russia and Belarus, uh, Belarus and Ukraine in particular, you know, and what it means subjectively. Well, it's a distraction, okay? Those guys are all playing with themselves. They're playing their game, and they see life objectively, and they're doing their thing, okay? This is what you forgive without distinction and walk away from. Are, are you living in Belarus? Are you living in Russia? Are you living in Ukraine? Well, it's none of your business. That's what. And you don't read about it, and you don't watch about it, and if it does come into your consciousness, you forgive it without distinction, and you walk away. You don't give fuel to that fire. So what have you been reading? Not the war again. People keep reading about the war, then it will actually happen. And then where will you be? The reason is, they all work together. President Obama. <laughs> Boom, baby! The real battle is the Freedom Convoy, and in order to distract you away from that, you know, Trudeau removed the uh, Illegal Emergency Act that he implemented, and, you know, smelling like a rose, and two days later, Russia is invading Parliament Ukraine. He opted to put Charles on trial for high treason. He was found guilty, sentenced to death, and on the 30th of January, 1649, was beheaded at Whitehall Palace. Consciously or unconsciously, it's their story. You forgive them and walk away. Okay, I forgive you without distinction. Uh, you know, I know I used to think we all battled each other. I don't believe that anymore. You know, forgive them without distinction and walk away. Okay, if it enters your consciousness, no, I didn't think that. I thought, I'm dancing in the flowers. <laughs> Whatever you want. You don't add fuel to their fire. You don't buy their story. Because they're distracting you from the freedom convoys. Which is getting at the guys at the top. Okay, the freedom convoys are fighting back in the proper way. With love. And they're coming at you. And it began. You know, it's an avalanche is how these things work. And Neville Goddard would say, you know, and signs begin to show up. That's that little bit, little bit, little bit showing up. You know, and then boom. One, it only takes one. One rock being moved by some vibration that releases the pressure point. And now it's a flood. So it began with protests in Europe, been going on for weeks, and building, you know, and, and you know, it, just, you know, these people being found out to be laughing at others and having parties and stuff without their masks, you know, and all this other stuff. They're going to restaurants without all the foo-foo the rest of us have to go through. What the hell? You know, it's going on here. So, you know, here come the freedom convoys. Enough is enough. These people here have been crying out, you know, no more passports in Europe. And then, it, you know, they went too far in Canada. And the truckers came out, not the people, the truckers. <laughs> the truckers and love the truckers and know what they're doing. They're our supply chain. We love them. You know, what the hell? They're good-hearted people. They, he just wants to drive in his truck. What do you do when you drive in his truck? It's lonely. No, you're hanging with God. These are salt-of-the-earth people who are coming at him with love and they couldn't stop it without being violent and ugly and they've arrested people. 
And this is the same thing that has happened in the United States. And they're being treated with cruel and unusual punishment. And the organizations we set up to stop that kind of thing are not stopping it. Oh, but they're praising the war going on with Ukraine and Russia. Look over here. You know? So whether Putin and Zelensky and the rest of them are in on it or not, it doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't. In the grander scheme of things, the convoys do. Okay, the U.S. convoys picking up steam, but you're not hearing about that. There's convoys around the world. The truckers are moving. They need your love. They need your support. They need your attention. I don't want to hear about that. That's y'all's problem. Don't care if he joins the EU. Woo woo. You know, we all love it when the underdog beats the guy who thinks he can just come in there and smash it. <laughs> so what kind of story did you get to distract you? Yeah. The little guy, right? Fighting the big old meanie Russian. I've been building that big old meanie Russian story up for a long time. So whether it was conscious or unconscious, it doesn't matter. You just forget them. And you walk away. And that's just how it is. You know, what does it have to do with you? Nothing. None of your business. And if it does start sucking you in there, guess what? You better change your thinking. <laughs> You're getting caught up in somebody else's story. We're poor, but we're honest. All I want is a refund. Refund? Refund? Are you crazy? Refund? 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 You know, Refund? seriously, they're hoping that now you're going to trust them because we've been reporting this for and, you know, it makes no sense if you really go dig into it. It's, nah, this is a, like a stage, false flag, big event. You know, and they don't care if people die. That that's not how they think. Okay? You're their resource. You're their slave and you're trying to revolt. So <laughs> we gotta stop that. Well, they don't like killing, so we'll come over here and say, look, they're picking on this little guy. <laughs> and how do we reward that little guy for playing our game? Well, we let him join our club. <laughs> He's just traded one evil for another. You know, he's still bowing down to somebody else's rules and regulations. You know, so don't worry about it. And it's not worth worrying about. What is worth worrying about is freedom for all. No more passports. No more mandates. You don't get to say. We say. This is the point. And they're trying to distract you from it. So no. Don't let them do that. You keep sending your prayers to those truckers. And you keep telling yourself, I can't wait to hear the news on the truckers. On the freedom convoys. And how we're going to be rid of all this stuff. You know, get off of me. <laughs> so, you know, I hope this helps. There's a whole lot of detail you can get you know, lost in. But they're playing their own game. Their authority and their game is about to end because it's not going to continue in the way it has been once the Freedom Convoy is done. The Freedom Convoy is the dragon awakened and everybody cheering and loving him. Oh, crying's ever so useful, isn't it? If you say so, but there's nothing you could say that would convince me you'd ever use that gun. Really? Well, I'm looking for my children. And it's a beautiful thing to see, you know, and it's people doing that safety dance and not paying any attention to them, not listening to you. Not till I hear no more passports, no more mandates. Hey, you want us to show that snow? We will. Da, 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 da. Oh, you need us to move and open up a lane? Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Not 
harming anyone. It's a beautiful thing. You're demanding your freedom, and they are obligated to give it to you, and they know it. So this is how it manifests. Democracy. They're obligated. They must. If you stand up and say no, and don't lose it, you know, just hang in there. It's all good, good. The Christ. I know I'm the Christ. And I got my back. And Pop says, saying, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, to that. <laughs> Hope this helps. Blessings to you. And thank you. Thank you for being here.